artist Spaniard and Northwest Fight Seeds sitting here at Team Quest with the Healy Brothers, Pat and Ryan. Pat, first let's start off with you, Strike Force fighter, Mr. Josh Thompson. You had an unbelievable fight, buddy. This was a war. Um, talk us through the fight and kind of what you've been doing afterwards. Uh, the fight, man, was really close. I think I did uh, everything that we planned to do, my game plan. I stuck to it. Uh, you know, was executing it great, thought I was winning the fight and going into the last, you know, two minutes. Uh, I took him down, took his back, made a mistake, got a little high, started thinking I could just hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, and I could win. And, uh, yeah, I got too high, he reversed me, got me, got my back, and got me in a rear naked. So, it's a tough loss. Uh, since then, I took a little bit of time because I had two fights kind of right back to back, and uh, now I'm just back training. Uh, I helped my brother get ready for a couple fights and uh, just hoping Strike Force puts me on in October. So, when you go to the drawing board after that, what was your major thing that you took back to training? Um, the major thing I took was, uh, you know, you got to stay fighting the whole time. You know, I started thinking that third round, hey man, I got this fight, all I got to do, one takedown, you know, just kind of coast this last round out and you've won. And, uh, you know, I learned a very valuable lesson that you can never do that, you know, especially against those top opponents. You know, I should have been fighting for the finish the whole time. Now on to you, Ryan. You actually had a fight just recently in Budo Fights in Bend, Oregon against a really tough opponent, Lance Whip from Las Vegas, uh, all the way to a decision. You won a tough, tough decision. Uh, talk us about that fight and how you feel. Yeah, it was a, it was a great fight. Uh, Lance was real tough. I knew him. Pat actually used to train with him, so we knew a lot about him coming in and uh, just wanted to, to keep to my game plan and, and put him on his back, which, you know, I think caught him a little bit off guard, was showing that, that I can wrestle, you know, just as well as I can strike. So I wanted to put him on his back and uh, keep him pinned up against the cage, and, and it turned out that that's what I was able to do. Now, in the second round, you got your back and had a choke. Did, at any point in time, did that choke feel threatening? Did you feel like you were as tight as you were about to go? Uh, yeah, you know, he, he, it, he locked it up, and he locked his hand behind his head, uh, behind my head. And I thought for a second, oh, oh shit, I'm in deep. Uh, but, you know, I was able to stay calm. Uh, it's one thing with how hard we train at Team Quest. You know, it's a position I've seen before, so I stayed calm. You know, I just kept moving my hips and was able just to get enough space to get out. So Now, talk about the win. Um, you, you both, I mean, in a fight like that where you both fought super, super hard, and, you know, you've been in a fight like this where both fighters, you know, have nothing really to lose. You both fight really hard. What does it feel at the end? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of... Accumulation of a lot of feelings because you know a lot of work goes into it, and then I was able just to grind him out. Really, I think I just stayed on him and just stayed one step ahead of him. So it's really satisfying to know, to reinforce that you're doing the right things in training. Uh, you know, it makes me feel good that I got the right training partners around me that are going to be able to push me so I can grind it out when it comes to the fight and and just out tough the guy. Now this is your fourth win in a row. Um, what have you talked about any fights in the future? Are you looking to maybe get into strike force with your brother? Well, hopefully, uh, you know, I can get into a, a bigger show. I'd like to, you know, strike force would be great with fighting with my brother, or I'd love to get, you know, tied in with Zufa or any any big show that's going to put me on TV. Dana. <laughs> Dana. That's but, right. WC, UFC, <laughs> strike force. That's where I want to be. Uh, I'll even take Japan. Send me over to Japan. <laughs> He's ready to fight. You heard it here. Um, so what about you? What, what are, where are you at now next? I mean, we know you've been fighting all year a lot, actually. You fought a lot this year. Um, are you still planning to fight this year again? Or? Yeah, I've been blessed enough to have had three fights already. And, uh, you know, compared to I had three fights all last year and two fights the year before that. So got out to a quick uh, quick jump. And it's on strike force, man. I'm, I'm ready to fight. So I'm just waiting on them. I hope they put me in in October. So... I want to fight at least twice more before the end of the year. I'd like to get six fights before this year, and uh, that'd be cool. You know, I'm not getting any younger, so I'll get as many fights in as I can right now. Awesome. Well, Spaniard, Northwest Spicy, the Healy Brothers, you heard it here. Um, anybody you guys would like to thank? Definitely got to thank our, our sponsors, Dirty Boxer, uh, Max GXL. Uh, 
Last round nutrition, full tilt, uh, just people who sponsor us on the regular. And Northwest Fight Scene yes. Magazine. Of Northwest course. Fight Scene. You heard it here. Thanks, guys.